We all use electricity everywhere, at home, in the industrial plants and so on. And we always make an assumption that the electricity will always be there continuously with high quality. But often the reality is not the case. The, the first and foremost impact of poor power quality is financial impact mm -hmm. to the users, to the, to the network. So poor power quality can cause equipment malfunction, loss of lifetime of the equipment, and also extra losses and heating on the devices. In a typical industrial plant, because of poor power quality, you can have interruptions. As a result of that, you have a lot of financial losses. Imagine a food industry that you have a conveyor making, I don't know, pasta for you. And as a result of that, you have an interruption and that the whole batch has to be scrapped. Mm -hmm. This is a huge financial loss. On the other side, there is an impact on sustainability of poor power quality. Poor power quality often comes with extra losses. Extra losses are creating extra carbon dioxide emission to the to the globe mm -hmm. because simply we are generating majority of our electricity today from fossil fuels, right? So that's why it is quite important for networks, for industrial plants and for even commercial installations to improve the power factor and harmonics uh, filtering. <laughs>